Just finished testing the Bennington 2375 RCW. This is powered by the Yamaha F200. Now this is the older style F200, which we still see a lot of them out of the market, and it's still a great engine. It gave us a really nice performance with this package on plane in 2.6 seconds with virtually no bow rise to 30 miles an hour in 8.1 seconds with a top speed of 41.5 miles an hour. Now this is a compact triple tube setup and we're seeing one of the attributes of the triple tube uh, package on a cold windy day on Lake Lanier north of Atlanta. It's a big lake and at top speed we were just gliding right over the top. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. Well, Amanda, I know the 2275 was a huge hit for you guys, and it looks like the 2375 is kind of expanding on that same uh, uh, theme there. What's a little different about this one? Um, the 2375 takes our one of our most f popular floor plans, and uh, you get an additional chaise lounge and the bow seating, and then the deck space, um, you obviously have an additional foot of space, uh, which is very nice. Well, it's really cool because it kind of covers up the pontoons up front too, which gives it a really clean look, I think. And that actually isn't um, because of the 23 foot floor plan. That's a new feature that's standard oh. on this model. It's um, very nice. It's an additional eight inches of bow deck space. And then also pretty much a safety feature as well. You can move around the bow without worrying about hitting those nose cones. So. For sure. Now, what about the upholstery up here? This is a great look. Yes, this is our sandstone uh, interior in the diamond pillow top upholstery. Um, it's very popular for us. It adds uh, a lot of detail, and we've brought that diamond around into the corners of the bow seating. So it's here. all the way around now. That's nice. Yes, so it definitely um, just enhances that look. Well, this this uh, pontoon feature is one of the hottest things I've been seeing in the last year or two in this that seagrass look, but this is a little different color than I've seen. Yes, we um, always tend to have custom colors just because the details are very important to us. So um, this is a custom color of the seagrass flooring. It has a nice cushion to it. It's been very popular. Yeah, for it feels us. great on bare feet too. I love it. Yeah, I usually yes. kick my shoes off as soon as we get on board a boat. Yes. It's cool. <laughs> but hey, let's take a look at the helm. See what we have going on there. This is our next generation council. It's standard on the Q and R series. So um, a very nice feature. It has. Um, a lot of styling detail. You you'll notice that there's a footrest, which you're yeah, using. It's really comfortable. <laughs> nice recumbent posture that you're sitting in. Um, it's all part of the design. Um, we have the espresso teak detail. Um, our custom wheel. You get the Echo 100 Garmin standard. Um, stainless steel cup holders are a nice touch, and um, we have the custom Sterling gauges as well. Well, you know the wood grain here. A lot of faux woods look really fake to me, but this really looks deep and rich and it looks real for sure. Thank you. Um, Amanda, is, I noticed this has the raised helm, which I love because it helps you with your vision at the helm. Uh, is this a standard or an option? The elevated helm is optional. Great. I'm taking it. Definitely worth, <laughs> worth the extra cost. <laughs> Definitely. Amanda, show me the storage up here. Um, all of the bench seating you can um, flip open and you have storage. Uh, this has a nice hinge on it and the others just flip open. Well, that's pretty easy. Yeah, it is very easy to use. Um, like I said, a lot of storage space in there. And then uh, another nice feature on the chaise lounges um, would be the flip down armrest. And you have your cup holder in there, stainless steel, um, and then that nice espresso teak accent inside. I know which chair I'm taking. <laughs> Well, Amanda, everybody that's seen any of my videos knows I love a good recline. And you guys have really nailed this one. I, I like the hot tub kind of indent here. It really cushions you nice. Yes, these are definitely um, one of our most popular seating features. Now, what about what's underneath here? Uh, you have a privacy enclosure below this one. And I believe there's a little bit of storage and a battery below the one. You okay, can see. nice. And one feature I really love, you know, if you're into water sports, it looks like you're really set up nicely back here. What are some of the features that help you out there? Well, um, obviously we have the ski tow bar on this um, boat, which is very nice. And that extended aft deck is standard on this boat. Um, so you can see you just have a lot of space to move around. Uh, we also improved the stainless steel ladder this year. It has wider treads and uh, it's deeper. 
so much easier to use. It has a new latch system on it as well. It's actually good looking too. Yes, it is. Well, Amanda, I know uh, interior lighting and mood lighting is really popular right now. What are you guys doing in that regard? We have um, blue ice LED lighting. Uh, we have a few different options. This boat is featuring the lighted cup holders, the Bimini light. Nice. It, well, it's going to get dark in a minute. I can get my shades off and uh, we'll go for a little sunset cruise here <laughs> if there would be actually sun. <laughs> for more information on the Bennington 2375 RCW and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.